Good morning all. I am Bensi Marim Koshi of first semester SCCM branch. Today I am here to present about gauge factor. First of all, what is a strain gauge? Simply, strain gauge is a device used to measure strain on an object. That means, it is a sensor whose resistance varies with applied force. That is, we can simply say that it is designed to convert mechanical motion into an electronic signal. That is, if we apply a tension to the wire, it slightly elongates. That is an increment in its length. So, uh, the length increases, the cross-sectional area will be reduced. That is a decrement in the cross-sectional area. So, there is a change in resistance with proportion to the strain sensitivity of the wire's resistance. This Strain sensitivity is also called gauge factor which is denoted as GF. For this, we are considering a strain gauge which is made up of a circular wire having length L that is denoted as capital letter L and the diameter of the wire is, is denoted as capital letter D. So, the area of cross section capital letter A so, uh, this is a circular wire which is having a resist resistivity that the resistivity, resistivity of the wire is denoted as rho. Then, if we apply a tensile stress into the wire, the what will happen? What will happen to the circular wire? The length will be increment by a small factor that is denoted as delta L. Then the length is increased, so the cross sectional area will be reduced. That means the diameter decreases. So uh, the decrement in the diameter will be denote, denoted as delta d. So uh, the length, the original length is capital letter L, uh, original cross sectional area is capital letter A, diameter capital letter D, resistivity of wire rho. Uh, after applying tensile stress, uh, the length incremented by a small factor that is denoted as delta L and the decrement is denoted as delta D. Okay. Uh, we all know that we have the resistance equation R is equal to rho L by A. This is the equation for resistance. Uh, we are applying stress to the uh, wire. Uh, there will occurring a change that is uh, the length and diameter will be changes. So, we are differentiating this equation number 1 that is R is equal to rho L by A uh, with respect to the stress applied that is dS. So, uh, the equation 1 will be, will be this dr by dS that is left hand side. Uh, by differentiating this equation, uh, we are keeping two equations two cons two um, terms as constant and we are differentiating the other term with respect to stress supplied so uh, we are keeping uh, first resistivity of the wire and area as constant and differentiating the length with respect to stress supplied so the term will be first term will be rho by a into dl by ds then we are keeping resistivity and length as constant and differentiating the area with respect to stress. So, uh, the, uh, uh, the area will be minus 1 by a square dA by dS. Second term will be minus of 1 by a square royal by royal into dA by dS. Then we are keeping length and area is constant that is L by A is constant and differentiating uh, rho with respect to stress applied. So, the third term will be L by A into D rho by dS. So, the final equation will be dr by dS is equal to rho by A into dL by dS minus rho L by A square into dA by dS plus L by A into D rho by dS. We can name the equation as equation number 2. 
Then again, divide the equation number 2 by R. R, R means resistance. That is, left hand side will be 1 by R into dr by ds. Then, uh, what will happen to right hand side? That, that means, equation number 2 becomes rho by ar into dl by ds minus 